feels really nice again out here this morning. The high today is supposed to be 76, but the weatherman said we're not going to see a lot of sun this week. Although, I don't know, that's a little bit of blue sky up there. Oh, my kitties are doing good. I've got chicken for those that care this morning. Yes, Marty, I see the yellow jacket. I'll stay over here. I am headed to the chiropractor on my normal Tuesday activities today. So I need to stay in motion and get us out the door for our walk so I'm not running horribly late. You know, it's stressful when I'm running late, so I need to try to avoid that. Hey, Panther. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Hi, pretty boy. Hello. Hi. I've already been in here briefly to see my girl this morning. Well, you didn't eat the little bit of stuff in your... In your, um bowl. I was hoping you would. She's been eating it fine. Um, I guess I'll, I brought her in the, just one piece of chicken with the jelly on it and had put it on top. I'll just move it on top to the other bowl. There you go, sweetheart. Mama, take this bowl back out. Now my hand's dirty and I want to pet you. Hang on. I'll be right, right back. Come say hello. Come say hello. Her eyes looking much better. I would go so far, I'm just getting a good look at it, it's go so far to say as it's cleared up. So that's good. That's reassuring. The vet wasn't worried, so I wasn't worried. She likes that gel just fine. She just wanted attention this morning, I think, more than eating. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, it's actually enjoyable out here. The little cool in the air, nice breeze, the sun's shining, kind of pretty skies. And no wake fest. I can almost enjoy this. <laughs> I told him to the park and only hats because we've only got 50 minutes and uh, I don't want to be so sweaty leaving for my appointment today. Plus I'm feeling better. I wouldn't say I'm quite at 100% perk yet. I was doing a lot more reading last night and that antibiotic I was on can mess with your potassium level and that's a critical thing that regulates your heart rhythm and the nausea I having was probably caused by the antibiotic and could have been more than just, you know, stomach upset. So I'm drinking, trying to drink extra water and cut myself a little bit of grace here. Won't say slack, that sounds negative. Grace on my workout routine. And we're walking the Pokemon loop sort of to stay away from the blower that's on the other end of the park hoping they do the trail today they seem to be out here for lawn stuff well they are out here doing stuff now oh okay I see that was kind of complicated what they're trying to say is don't go too close to the shoulder Don't get the cone at the end pushing you to the right, but okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it was for cars coming this way. They didn't have one of those cones for me, so I couldn't tell. Right. But cars coming this way, they know that don't go over in this lane. Stay in your own lane. Well, it looks like maybe they're going to be busy today. They're yeah. getting an early start at I, 10 a.m. and all that good stuff. I would say they're, they're working diligently here. I'll explain in a minute. <laughs> ah, hi Ruby thank you so much a little farther sweetheart but popping even is good I got a little close probably I'm out of practice wow it's 10 21 this could be a record for leaving um I was uh walking the track with Miss Rosa pretty much the entire time as soon as we got to going good Don um, had to get on a 9 30 a.m. conference call and uh, <laughs> Rosa caught up with us and I chatted with her while Don walked behind and participated in his call Rosa and I were talking about unions UAW SAG-AFTRA and uh, what is AI 
and what does that mean and uh, also uh, where are electric car batteries made uh, and stuff like that it was enjoyable conversation and she was truly interested in some of these things um, I have said before that Miss Rosa is in her 80s and she walks three miles a day so she's plenty fit and plenty sharp um, but that's what happened up there. So usually when I talk to Miss Rose, I don't film. Although she wouldn't care if I stopped for a second to do something. Um, there wasn't much going on up there. They were making some noise with the blowers and stuff. And then when we were leaving the park, something happened to Don's network on his phone. My phone was working okay, but his was not. And he got bumped off his conference call in the middle of a... It was only a company internal call, but in the middle of a heated discussion. And... Rebooting his phone fixed it, but that was quite frustrating. So we were in the sort of in an emergency trying to get him back on his conference call. He pulled out Ruby and I troubleshot the technical difficulties. He needed a break from it. Anyway, um, I don't know how long we war walked because I was so busy starting my pogo route that I forgot to start my Apple Watch. I did get my 30 minutes of exercise in, but... Um, I don't know exactly how far we walked today. We walked for uh, at least 45 minutes and possibly more. But, you know, somehow it's better to not be super stressed than to walk every minute of my 60-minute goal, right? There's some trade-off there. Um, Rosa and I were walking a pretty good clip. She sat down to rest for a minute and then was going to finish her rest of her walk. And she normally does that in the middle of the walk, you know, stops and chats with people or something. So anyway, I should be on time today. Yay. <laughs> There's speed traps over here in Holly Springs. I got off the turnpike and I accidentally bumped Ruby out of autopilot at FSD. And um, when she comes into that merged lane, it just, feels a little bit like she goes a little left sometimes and anyway as I did that I saw the cars coming up behind me but not very close so I I think the turn signal it might have already been on or I put it on and I sped up pretty good to get in front of them to you know pick to set my speed to speed that traffic was coming and I have to get right back off onto this surface road so it's a quick on US Highway 64, off US Highway 64. Anyway, as I was doing that maneuver, and I put my foot in it pretty good, there was a cop in an SUV over on the right, but I couldn't tell it was a cop. And the, what I was noticing was the door was ajar on that vehicle. Well, he was sitting in his car and he was pointing a speed gun at people coming down US Highway 64, which I'm sure that included me. Um, I don't know, it's 55 out there. I might have got up to 60 as I merged in. And then, of course, when I was merged over safely, I slowed back up or got ready to put on my turn signal to exit. So, he didn't come off his perch. I, I mean, I really didn't do anything wrong, but it's like... Then there was one on the other side of the street, another unmarked SUV, red, no less, maroonish color. And he was doing the same thing. He was stopped and he had a radar gun pointed. And then there was this speed limit sign here as I approached the left turn lane. And I guess they're just out looking for speeders today. Really threw me off how he had his driver's door ajar and was pointed to the back of the car with that speed gun. Not that I usually worry about them out there because I'm not usually going very fast. But, you know, you get caught in that couple of seconds where you might not be paying attention sometimes and it'll do you in. Wow, look at me. It's 10.50 and I'm here. Woohoo! We pulsed my back today with the paddles in the chair. Um, it wasn't super bothering me since I've rested several days since I was stooped over in the yard pulling weeds. But, uh... It did feel good. She gave me some CBD lavender samples, not the menthol one for like a sore back, but one that's good for rashes. Told me to try it on my poison ivy. My poison ivy actually looks a smidge less red and angry today for the first time. But I'll probably try it anyway or save it for the next time. <laughs>
I'm headed over to Guardian Angel Apex. It's really not good when I'm walking into the store and I've seen two close call accidents here in the parking lot in a series of 45 seconds. Common sense in parking lot seems to be missing. Okay, I need to know what this car is because I don't know and it looks like, I don't know, it had less of a grill, but maybe not. There's a pretty bolt. Oh, look at that color. Because they have that ice blue, but that's, you know, more of a medium shade. Cool. It's a Kona. The gentleman was actually in that car. I don't know if it was a rental or not. I don't see any Tesla's here on this side of the parking lot right now. None, zero, nada, except for Ruby. And this, okay, there's a blue Y. But that's supposed to be not Hertz parking. Anyway, the usual, there's a Tesla, here's a Tesla, everywhere a Tesla, that was not the case today. Maybe around back. They've redone the area up front here. It looks really nice. Wow, look at the plates, including a Darth Vader plate. Michelle and I are hoping that eventually more lounge fly will start to show up. Or Vera Bradley, like the specialty ones from Hallmark. We've only found one or two in the last year, but we're hopeful for more. Oh, I think I might like that. That's a really unique mask. What? Is it supposed to be, I guess, a bird beak of some sort? So the red car there was slowly backing out of their parking space and a guy was on this side, pointed forward, and he started to pull straight out and he saw she was backing and everything. And he come within a foot of her bumper and she was backing out first before he started moving. And he just wouldn't stop for her. Just wouldn't stop. So that makes, you know, close call number three in the parking lot today. I have a couple of items from Food Lion grocery store. We needed toothpaste and I bought a chicken and I got a couple other things. Things I can't get at Whole Foods and I don't want to go to Walmart for before the weekend. So their chickens are more expensive in there at Harris Teeter. And Harris Teeter is supposed to be the quote unquote expensive grocery store. Not really, not on everything. The chicken is actually much cheaper. I paid 30 more cents a pound than Harris Teeter's normal price. And the Food Lion was on sale for 50 cents off their normal price. Like I said, not raining today, just not super sunny either. using one of the little bags Michelle has given me stuff in. I love it. It's got my roast beef and my um, root beer in there. My Zevia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to look at the lightning and y'all are slowing down, messing me up. I had a Texas plate. Did you see it? It was red, maroon color. Has a ladder carrier on it. Now, maybe I'll get up near it in traffic again. It's not looking good right now, though. <laughs> I don't know. It looks lowered. Are they all that low to the ground? It just, it looks lowered to me. Keep on hoping the Acura in front of me will move. Yeah, it's definitely had something done to it because... The wheels are very low in the wheel well. Like the truck is, I don't know, something's extra has been done to the suspension. Okay, it's turning. It was a work vehicle. It had um, some sort of magnet sign on the door. Anyway, I'm two for two. Two days, two lightnings this week. I understand that there are, I think, four signed up for the Blue Ridge Parkway Drive this weekend. So there should be a few in the parking lot. So did I mention that Don found a nail in Jules's front right tire? 
If not, he did. I've got a little video to show you. I think he's going to plug it himself. Um, uh, thanks for coming over the yellow line. It, it helps to pay, stay in your lane. I see the vehicles over in the lot. And looks like they're off the road for the day. A quick glance up at the poles and I don't see a lot of activity. All the vehicles have flashers on. Whatever they were doing today though, they're done because they've pulled the cones and signs and stuff and the road workers are gone for the day. Hmm. Yes, yeah, real pretty day here. Comfortable, you know, good day to work outside. And I guess so. Uh, I'll probably be doing that because look what I found in my tire. Houston, we have a pro uh, problem here. Well, do you think that's long enough to have punctured? Made it through the inner liner? I don't know. I didn't hear any hissing. I got me some soap here. see no bubbles to speak of or if it is it's really slow so I guess I got lucky it might be it might be it's mm, but though that's awful slow uh, I guess I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm in here editing with Gray, and um, she's in a really good mood and purring up a storm and happy, but you can see her eye is still not super happy. I hope um, Dr. Liz was right about it being viral and not bacterial. We can always go back and get eye drops or something if needed. And just, um, you know, mostly I want her to feel better. I continue to agree, you know, with this. She's eating and purring and happy and all of that good stuff. Not hiding or anything. So she can't feel too bad. So I'm not super stressed. But, you know, I just want her to be back to herself 100%. Yesterday's video. I'm behind. So, uh, you may have seen our video a couple days ago where, <clears throat> starting October 1st, we're going to new um, time of use plan. And the super discounted rate is basically uh, year-round from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. So, the dryer doesn't have a mechanism to delay the starting. So, I'm going to use one of my Shelly 1... Wi-Fi smart home controllers here. Uh, it'll run off of 12 volts. It has a, sets the jumper. So this is going to be a little 12 volt thing. So I needed a uh, double pole single throw uh, relay to make this work. And, um, or at least one. Um, and um, short answer, long answer is that I couldn't find one. But I did find a... a circuit board that had two 12 volt um, single pole double throw relays so I cut the um, circuit board using a Dremel because it's actually easier to cut the Dremel and then I rewired it the way I want so the blue wires here that's across the normally open contact of one of the uh, relays and the other goes to this little switch uh, that in combination with the the power switch here uh, is a pick and hold so because basically I've, I've got to turn this thing on let's call it uh, you may or may not be able to tell it it's act here let me turn the light off that little LED is actually glowing if I turn it the other way. As you can see, it's off. So, so this is, uh, call it an automate mode. 
but it won't do anything until you push this little switch here and when you do that the two relays will pick and hold so now both relays are energized and one of the relays is, is used for the pick and hold circuit and the other relay is um, basically these are now closed these two wires so that's going to go to the switch on the dryer uh, through the uh, Wi-Fi thing and um, that way the Wi-Fi thing if I don't actually each night push this little switch to quote arm the thing the Wi-Fi switch won't do anything um, and so that's the reason and then of course if I want to totally disable where uh, you know, it's in manual mode I just simply turn the switch off and it'll um, then then the automation will not work uh, it'll just be good old-fashioned dryer so I've got to switch uh, hook this across the um, start switch on the dryer fingers crossed um, there is a there is another relay but it, uh, coming in um, and I'll explain that when I get it tomorrow but basically um, I'm just trying to reuse some of the old circuit boards uh, as you can see here I I just whacked it out <laughs> uh, and uh, wired it up so uh, hopefully um, we'll still allow us to con control the dryer so that it only runs between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning.